I can't stand the hypocrisy of it all. People coming up to us to shake our hand and to give their condolences and looking all sad. Why? It's our dad. Like they care. Most of them hadn't seen him in years. What is your problem? If they want to come up and give their sympathies, why have you got such a problem with that? Trust that to even piss you off. Yeah, well, I just think they're all here for the buffet that comes afterwards. I should have made some kind of coffin cake. Slice of death, Mary, to go with your third open of quiche and egg mayo sarnies. Keep your voice down. I'm not going to let you make this about you today. No, you're right. I'll just sit here and pretend it's fine that none of these lot gave two shits and visited Dad when he was still here. Dad wouldn't have wanted to see them anyway. Ever since Mum died, most of them stopped calling and checking in on him. Jesus, look at them queuing up now for the hot food. Why not do the conga whilst you're waiting? Make this a proper send-off. Where were you lot when it mattered, eh? Where were you? Sorry. Where were you? I was there. But I also had all that trouble going on at work, you know. Because I was there. I was the one dressing and undressing him. Washing him. Taking him to the toilet when he soiled himself. Helping to turn him so he didn't choke on his own vomit. Holding him in the night while he was hallucinating. Terrified and calling out for mum. Not you, okay? So just shut up and go and take the cling film off those sausage rolls. I was too afraid. I was too afraid to see him like that. So was I. But what choice did I have, huh? Look, I'm so grateful for all that you did. And All I want to do is get through today. So if it means smiling and nodding and watching while these lot get off on a few free drumsticks and cocktail sausages, then so be it. I am so tired.